What is up everybody, Tanner with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. And this video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be talking about capitalizing on celebrities or famous people's death. Um, I see a lot of people do this within dropshipping just because they're trying to make that buck, but I'm gonna explain to you guys and show you guys some examples of why you should not do this and what happens if you do do this. You know, I see a lot of people, whether it's big entrepreneurs I know or small entrepreneurs that are just trying to make a couple bucks, do this and it ends up in a bad way. And you know, from a moral standpoint and an ethical standpoint as a business owner and business manager, there's a lot of things that I see that can involve this component to not be very good in the long term. So let's go ahead and hop onto my computer. I'm show you guys some things that you will probably find interesting see you there all right guys so now on my computer here this is going to be a little bit of a different mood for a type of video um i feel like this is something that needs to be addressed to my type of audience the people that are involved with drop shipping e-commerce and just marketing overall so we're here on my computer as you can see you know whether you like these people or not that i'm going to be talking about there's going to be a good reasoning behind why i'm talking about them in the first place so the first guy i have here is xxx tentacion um, he was a very popular but controversial at the same time artist, rapper, uh, whatever you want to call him. And he died on June 18th, 2018. So at that time, I was actually in Miami, about 30 minutes from where it happened. I was there at my buddy's house, Moosecraft. As you saw in the previous videos, you know, I was just in his house in Miami. Um, I go there pretty often now, every couple weeks. Um, me and George are working on a bunch of stuff together, but Deerfield Beach was pretty close to where I was staying And he was actually murdered for a Louis bag or you know, whatever the cause was They just wanted to kill him because they didn't like him He was a very controversial artist, but I felt like at the same time he was a great guy But at this time, you know, my opinions and your opinions don't really matter with what I'm gonna be talking about here Which is different people drop shippers. I would say capitalizing on the death of certain celebrities so at the time of you're watching this Yesterday, around 24 hours ago, this artist, Mac Miller, an American rapper, died of a drug overdose. So he's been a very popular rap artist for a very, very long time now, since early 2000s, I would say. You know, he has lots of lots of popular songs. He was dating Ariana Grande. You know, very popular guy that had some great music. And, you know, it was, you know, controversial stuff at the same time, like XXX, because, um, you know, he would talk about drugs and how he was a Addicted and how overdose, you know, whatever it was, he would talk about those negative things that happened in his life and how they were affecting him. You know, that's sort of the thing that happened between him and Ariana Grande. Um, they split because of the fact of him being addicted to drugs and I was sort of getting in the way of specific things, whether it was whether it was business or relationship, whatever it was. Um, so these two guys, very big artists that were young, just died recently. XXX was like 21 and Mac Miller was 26. Um, so very young at the death of these celebrities, um, artists, music artists, very popular people. But I've seen a lot of people capitalize on the opportunity and sort of scam people. What I mean by this, people are starting merch stores or merch um, selling shirts and stuff like Rip XXX or Rip Mac Miller and saying, you know, each sale is going to donate a percentage to the foundation to give them money or, you know, hotline prevention for whatever it is to donate money. But they don't actually do it. Um, you know, that's just how most companies are. And I have a few examples here that I want to show you guys of different people that are doing these things. You know, I can't claim that any of these people are making the money and then not donate, donating it and saying that they are, um, but it is something that I've seen happen before, so I've, I'm not gonna accuse any of these people of doing it, but at the same time, I feel like this is a negative thing to do by capitalizing on someone's death. You know, there's so many other ways to make money. Um, I'll show you guys actually how to do some product research here because, you know, you can make some money by selling some stuff off of a person's death, but at the same time, morally and ethically, this is not right. Um, you know, within business, that's a decision you have to make, and sometimes it's okay to cross that specific line. But I feel like here, you know, trying to capitalize on someone's death just isn't the way to go. Because one, it's very short term. It's not going to make you a lot of money in the long run. And two, that's going to affect you in the long run. Um, you know, people just, if they know you did it, you're going to have a bad rep with them, and it's not going to create a long-lasting relationship between that business partner. So, like, right here, look at this. This is just when X died. This is a thing where you can make your own designs and sell them online and you know people making rip xxx shirts uh he was 20 years old and the same thing with mac miller he just died yesterday and there's already these people making them teach it it's the similar website as to this where you can make your own design and sell them um rip mac miller and they're trying to sell these shirts for 23 dollars and you know you might sell it but at the same time it's like why would you do this why would you capitalize on someone's death i know this video may be a little bit controversial maybe you don't like the idea of me saying not to sell this stuff but i'm going to show you guys how to do actual product research which will help you make a lot more money in the long run um so i would say i see a lot of these young drop shippers a lot of people that are new to it they don't really make a lot of money with it they figure out you know i can't make money by selling normal products so i'm going to try and capitalize off of this person's death um in the meantime so 
I would say be careful with that kind of thing. Like this company, they were selling XXX jerseys when it came out. They raised like crazy numbers, a few hundred thousand dollars, I believe. And they said they were going to donate or 100% of the proceeds will go to the Nas National Suicide Prevention Hotline, um, which I don't know if that happened or not. I know they sent $5,000, but I know it's definitely they raised more than that. Um, but this was a very popular campaign. Let me show you guys how to do some proper research so you don't have to capitalize on someone's death. You know, a lot of marketers, a lot of companies are going to be like, wow, rip Mac Miller, you know, in honor of Mac Miller, here's 20% off of our shirts and 20% off of our store, whatever. You know, why would you try and capitalize off of that unless you were actually donating that money to the specific cause of why that person died? You know, Mac Miller died of a, a drug overdose, so maybe you would want to you know, donate to something that relates to that specific cause. So let's go to Facebook right here. And if you've watched my videos before, you probably know how I already do product research on Facebook. There's tons of different ways you can do product research, way more in-depth methods. This is just a very basic method that you can use. Um, but really, it just comes down to using specific keywords, whether you're using technology, free shipping, 10% off, 50% off, um, dog bed, whatever it is, you're going to find some specific keywords. Or even you'll find a page that has different things. Like one of them is like Zagro dot co zingro dot co I was just doing product research and I found this specific store that sells a bunch of different drop shipping items you see they only have 235 likes but their ad has like you know 205,000 views this one has 273,000 so I found this product here you know I'm revealing one of the products that I'm testing right now um, was this product and all I was doing was using specific keywords check it out here and then I ended up finding this page where they're promoting literally only this ad um, I mean, you can go to info and ads and see everything else they're promoting, but still, you're going to see all these different things that they're using. So, if I was to use that keyword, check it out here. Go to videos in 2018, and now you're going to see all these different things like Easy Food Dicer. You know, this thing has a crazy amount of views 7.3 million views, and it's a food cutter. And Legit Gifts TV is very. Sorry, that's loud. It's a very popular um, drop shipping store. So you can go there, go to AliExpress, find that product, add it to your store, and start marketing it. And you can keep doing this on and on, different keywords. Like, you know, not all of them are going to be for an e-commerce product. Like, it's like Giant Bear plays with its career. Um, but, you know, you just scroll down, use different keywords. Check it out here. Free shipping. And there's way more in-depth methods that you can use to um, do this kind of thing. But, you know, we continue to do this. Look at this. Automatic pump, whatever this is right here. For people that are trying to siphon gas, here you go. Um, this is a product with, you know, it has some decent engagement from a month ago. Uh, but literally, it's just this little pump you find on AliExpress for like 5 bucks. They're selling it for 30 bucks, $25 margin. And then you sell it. And, you know, you can just keep looking through these pages until these websites until you find some more products add them test them and see what makes you the most money it's really just a game of trial and error but uh yeah guys i would say go through the true method of building a long-term business instead of trying to capitalize quickly off of someone's death um that's just what i'm going to say from here so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe peace